Let's go. Give it all. Good evening. I'm in Shop Hill, St. Thomas. Oh, Shop Hill. St. Thomas. And this is the church of the Nazarene. And I'm now heading towards the scenery. The Lakot Point at Grandview Heights. Shop Hill. Which is at the bottom of the hill here. Yes, guys, this is Shop Hill, St. Thomas. Back up to Shop Hill. So I'm not descending Shop Hill. To go to the lockout point at Grandview Heights. And this is the Centenary Moravian Church. Takes you at Shop Hill. St. Thomas. It dates back to 1866. The Centenary Moravian Church. And this is the Grandview Heights here. And I'm now approaching the scenery, which gives an awesome view of the island. Yeah, yeah. I have now reached the lookout point now where you can see most of the island from here you can see over to St. George which is another central parish and into St. John and St. Philip which is to the east of the island as well yes guys we can see all this is all Grandview Heights. And we can see into St. George, which is to the center of the island, with Roberts Manufacturing and the St. George Valley. And we can see into the Warrens area from here, which is known as a city away from the city, the Warrens Business and Commercial Area. Because the Warren's business and commercial area is known as a city away from the city where businesses are moving out of town into the area. Yes guys, so this is the Warrens area, the Warrens business and commercial area, which is known as the city, away from the city where all these tall buildings are, and we can see all into the Bridgetown Port and the Water Harbor, and we can see the Carlow Bay area from here as well, which is on the southwest coast of Barbados, where we can see the Radisson, the Hilton Hotel, and the whole of Carlow Bay. And we are looking back up to Shop Hill again. I'm in the 
parish of St. Thomas, which is to the center of the island. St. Thomas and St. George are the two parishes here in Barbados, in the center of the island. And they can best be referred as the heart of Barbados or the central uplands of Barbados. And we can see the Williams complex at King Garden Industrial Park and the Williams Swallow Farm and the Leicester Vaughan Memorial Secondary School as well. This is all at King Garden St. Thomas. So yes guys, this is one of the most developed parts of the parish. Which most businesses are moving out of town. Well, this is the one, this is where I mean, the most developed parts of the parish where lots of houses are being built. Sorry, and uh, Warren is a place where businesses were moving out of town into the area. The Warren, the Warren's area only started to develop sometime in the late 90s or early 2000s so again we can see all into the St. George Valley and we can see into the Sweet Bottom Sweet Vale area which is in St. George and we can see all up in St. John and St. Philip which is to the east of the island and this is Edge Hill Terrace which is just below me here Yeah, okay, this, this, this is the road that will lead to Barbados' highest point, which is Mount Hillaby. This is the 1,116 feet. Yes, the where I am now is one is one is seven hundred seven hundred feet above sea level. My apology for the mistake that I've been making. I am one I'm seven hundred feet above sea level at the present moment. And again, this is Edge Hill Terrace just below me. And again, this is one of the most developed parts of St. Thomas. From here we can see the new district the police station at King Garden in St. Thomas and opposite that is the beach recycling plant. You can see all up to the airport and Christchurch as well, which is to the south of the island. And we can see all the way to the St. George Valley, which is in the center of the island. And we can see the Kingwood World area and Lairs and Jackmans. And again the Carlow Bay area, which is on the southwest coast of Barbados. And back to the Warrens area again. So this is the Kyala Bay area here, where is Radiston and Hilton Hotel is. And the Central Bank as well in Bridgetown. Uh, we can see into the Bridgetown port and the Water Harbour as well. Here is the Williams Complex where you come across BRC, Williams Electrical, Williams Metals, and so on. And opposite that is the Williams Solar Farm, and next door to that is the Leicester Farm Memorial Secondary School.
Was manufacturing company at Lower Estate in St. George. Um, you can see it in the parish of St. John and St. Philip, which is to the east of the island. Where you can see the prison. The prison is Her Majesty's Dogs, which is that church village in St. Philip. And you can see all into St. John with Venture, Clearberry, Villanova, Sherburne, and Mount Tabor. And into St. George as well with Sweet Bottom, Sweet Vale area, and Groves. And look back up the shop hill again. Yeah, okay, this is all Grand View Heights in Shop Hill, St. Thomas. And as I said before, St. Thomas is in the center of the island, along with the parish of St. George. So there is North, North Coast Lane in these two parishes. Are the two landlocked parishes in Barbados? And again, this road will lead you back to Mount Hillaby, which is the highest point in Barbados, 1,116 feet. And the Mount Hillaby borders St. Andrew and St. Thomas. Again, this is the Warrens area now that I'm looking into, which is known as the city away from the city where all these big buildings are. Warrens is where businesses are moving out of town into the area. And we can see into the bridge town port and the water harbor. And we can see the Kyla Bay area again with the Radisson and Hilton Hotel, which is on the southwest coast. And we can see the Central Bank of Barbados, which is in Bridgetown. And we can see all, all in the Cane Garden in St. Thomas, along with Bridgefield and the new district, the police station and beach recycling plant at Cane Garden in St. Thomas as well. Back at the shop here. In the eastern direction I'm, I'm looking at. So from this vantage point you can see the south, east and west of the island and the city as well and the center. And as I said before we are 700 feet above sea level. Terrace. So lots of rich and famous people live down here. Well, not famous, but rich people live in Edge Hill Terrace.
you're watching now and have a blessed evening